Hey friends, welcome back to Waterview Mountain. As you can tell, wonderful day we're at the mountain. We're hoping you're, you're having a blessed day this morning, uh, just as we are. Of course, it's Friday. I got my red on, so remember everyone deployed. <clears throat> and uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for checking us out. We're always glad to have you along on the journey with us. So uh, today, we're going to get after. We're going to keep on with this electrical. And today, we're going to do switches, uh, most of them. I don't think I'm going to do that three-way switch today, but... We haven't decided yet. It's still early. It's only about eight o'clock, and uh, there's a couple things I have to do uh, before I can do that three-way switch. So we'll see if we get to that today. If not, we'll just do some uh, the regular switches, and then I got a neat trick that I'm going to make into a short, but I'll still include it in this video of a way that you don't need any tools to strip that wire and bend that wire uh, to hook it up to that switch. So stick around for that, um, and. Uh, that's all I got, so sit back, relax, get yourself something to drink, and uh, let's get to busy. Something I bet you didn't know, I didn't know either. <clears throat> We're gonna use this light switch to strip this wire. So, you measure out how far you need on the back, about yay far. Take that, spin it around a couple times. There you go. Spin that and then voila, strip the wire. Oh, and but wait, there's more. This little hole right here, put it right in there, flip it around, there's your bend. Too easy. Okay, so for this switch, <coughs> sorry, we're gonna do the same thing we did with the uh, outlets, we're gonna do the same thing on these grounds. So put the two grounds together and now listen, I have to tell you all again, full disclaimer, I'm not an electrician. So I'm not telling you this is how to do it at your house. I'm just saying this is how we're gonna do it at our house. Um, it's a technique, I don't know. I mean, it, I'm 99.9% sure we're doing it correct. But again, that's on you to figure out. If you're, if you're in doubt, check with an electrician, a certified electrician, and they'll tell you. So we're just twisting these together. I'm just gonna start out here because I'm losing back there Okay, so those are twisted together. Now remember, now I'm gonna clamp this down. It's just copper on copper on copper. It's all nice and clamped. Then I'm gonna use my other pliers to untwist this wire. Cut this just like before. Cut that. I'm going to fold that back on itself just as a little added security. And there you go. Grounds are done. So now I'm going to just kind of tuck this back in this box, kind of. Nice and neat, and wait, and then we'll connect this ground to the switch in a minute. Okay, we're gonna try something different today. I got two different things. So remember, <clears throat> when we did the outlets, we used all those big fat wire nuts. So what I did, <clears throat> and I'll have to show you the bag. I went to the big blue box store and I got these. These are push-ons, um, because I thought they were these, the Wagoos, okay? so. These were not what I thought they were gonna be, but after doing some research, a lot of people use these and have great success with them. Um, so we're gonna try this, uh, and we're gonna use the Wagoos. So these press fits are pretty simple, right? So with our white wires, right, with our neutrals, um, we just need it to be continuous. We don't need to hook it to the switch, uh, just like the outlet. So I'm gonna slide that in there 
And then if you look down inside, can you see in there? The wire's all the way to the end. And then on this side, I don't have any wire sticking out. So come up on top, baby, so you can see on the back side. There you go. So I don't have any wire sticking out here, and it's seated all the way down, and it's not coming out. It's nice and snug. And then I'm going to take my second one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to slide it right there. And... Well, I can't see. I need my glasses. There you go. Now it's seated all the way in there. And you see that takes up a whole lot less space than, than a wire nut. And both those wires are in there. I got <clears throat> no bare wire sticking out the back. So now we can take this and we're just gonna tuck you on back inside there. and out of the way all right and then last but not least they say this does not matter uh, if you do top and bottom for your on and off um, but I'm just gonna keep it consistent just to keep it consistent so I'm gonna take this is my my home run wire coming in I'm gonna put this on the bottom and again just like with the outlets I'm going around with the way I'm righty tighty. Got minimal uh, insulation underneath there. And then on the top, I'm gonna put this guy. Same thing. Get it around. Flip it over. I forgot to do my, my ground curl. Well, 12 gauge wire don't want to fit in there. Okay, so here we are in the bathroom. Sorry, I got to keep my glasses on because these wires are small. So we have <clears throat> our home run coming in through the bottom, right? So that's power coming in. So that's these wires down here. These wires are going to the switch. These will go to a switch that's going to funk. It'll, it'll run a light and a fan. So they're both gonna be on the same switch. I'm not gonna do two separate switches. Then this is a switch that's going to a light that'll be above the sink. And then this is gonna be a continuous hot that goes to this outlet. So lots going on in this box. So we're gonna take it nice and slow to make sure that I don't mess anything up because there's a high probability that that could happen. Because like I've said before, I'm not an electrician. So what I'm going to do first is I know I'll need two legs of the ground wire, one for each switch. So I'm going to take my little, I don't know if this will fit on four. There's three. Let's see if we can get four in there. Nope, four is not gonna fit. So, now we have some options of what we could do. Um, we could use one of these guys. Now we need a six. We can twist them together, do a wire nut. So that's what we'll do. All right, so we're all 
thinking on the fly here. So what I figured out is if I hold my little crimper, so I got my little round crimper there, right? I hold that with one and I'm holding just tight enough to slide it, you see? And I'm pulling the wires through, each individual wire through. And as I pull, it brings the wire out and it pushes that little uh, crimping nut back in a little bit. So now that's down in there nice and tight. So now I can twist all these together right here real close. look back in that box I don't know if you can see back in there see they're all twisted together I got good contact that's the key is having good contact on all of them and then I'm gonna separate two of them out so I'll go with this one so these two are gonna stay as my ones I'm gonna use to connect to the uh, to the switches I'm gonna cut that I'm gonna cut that and then just like before, I'm going to fold these over. Well, I got to crimp my crimper, don't I? Don't forget to crimp your crimp. <clears throat> crimp that down. And I'm going to flip these back on themselves a little bit. Just to help kind of seal that in for freshness. Crimp that down. There you go. And then we're gonna push this into the back of the box. And we still got our two, our two pigtails there to connect to our switches. All right, now let's move on to the white wires. Okay, so now all our neutral wires, again, you know, code says you need to have about six inches sticking out here, um, which we're pretty close. I think that might be a little short, but either way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut these all off at the same length. Um, just so they're the same lengths because we're going to use just a uh, push lock to connect all these together. So all the same length. Push those out of the way. Handy dandy wire strippers. So there you go, we got, right? Neutral to the box, neutral to the lights. Neutral, neutral, neutral. And then we're gonna take these. So again, this is a four port, it's just a push on. So you just make sure, whichever kind you buy, these are ideal insures, right? And it says right here, number 20 to number 12. So we're good, because we're using 12 gauge wire. It's good for stranded and it's good for uh, braided. So you can push that on. Push that on. Now, of course, here you could use a wire nut if you wanted to do the wire nut thing. Um, I'm kind of digging this pushing thing, but. There's three. Four. And then just make sure, so that last one's a little hard for me to grab a hold of. Just make sure you get it seated all the way down in there. And now you see right at the end there, you can see, you can see copper. And then that little plastic, that little metal piece, the shiny piece right above my finger is what's holding it in place. So there you go, all the white wires in. So same deal, I'm gonna push these together a little bit and then I'm gonna push these back down into the back of the box. Get my black wires out of the way and then push. And I'm trying not to push on this nut because I don't want 
those to come out of it, right? So once it's in, now look, I can still look in there and I can still see, okay, all four of my wires are still sitting in there nice and pretty. Okay, now let's figure out what kind of magic we need to do for <clears throat> the hot wires. I think I got it figured out. This is the hot wire going back to the, to the box. So this is our main power, always power coming in. This is gonna be the power going to this outlet. So I know these two have to be connected uh, so that this is continuously getting power and it's not gonna be affected by the switch. I also know I need to have two wires, two hots going one to each switch. So what I'm gonna do, this time we're gonna use a Wago. I got this five gang Wago instead of the um, instead of the push ones. So just the same, but I'm gonna start, let's see, I'll just start on this end, right? So here's our hot wire going continuous hot, right? Then I'm gonna put in these fellas, this one, and that's gonna be one for one switch. And then we'll put in this one for this switch. Now with these Wagos, it's just like this the, the push-ons. I can look in there, I can see what's going on. I wanna make sure that the, uh, um, when I slide this in, you see it's seated all the way down and then I'm not gonna clamp that down onto the insulation. So I clamp that down, give them all a little tug to make sure they're all good to go, and that's it. And then same thing, I'm gonna tuck this back up inside there to start, just kind of get it going. And now I have my powers. This is the power coming to the uh, switches and this will be the travelers going up to the lights that they're gonna go up to. So let me throw some bends on these and we'll get them hooked up. So we're back at the front door and now we're gonna wire a three-way switch so that we can run the fan uh, and the lights in the big room. And then we also need a, this to jump off. So we need it to go hot up to the um, the switch, this is the switch we installed to begin with that goes to the outside lights. So I already did the the uh, the grounds. You've seen it a hundred times, right? I twisted them together, I crimped them down, put it back. I left two pigtails, one for each switch down here because this one's already hooked up and it's already it's already grounded as well. So now with our neutrals, like we always do, right? We're just gonna, let me see if I can do this so you can actually see it. Well, it's happening, All right? So you slide that in, clamp it down. It doesn't come out. Slide that in, clamp it down. It doesn't come out. Slide that in. Oops. Premature clamping. Well, that one don't want to go in, does it? Maybe that's a titch too long. Let me cut that tip off there. And it's a little bent, so sometimes that doesn't help. Okay. Now slide that in, clamp it down. Now none of them, I still pull back on all of them to make sure they don't come out. They're not loose. And then I'm going to take these grounds and get all these other wires out of the way. And again, I'm going to push it up all the way in the back and then down. And then same thing, be careful with that Wagyu so you don't pop any of those clamps open. And that's, that's back there tight as a tick. Okay. Now, you notice on this side, right, we've always been working with 12-2 wire, right? So we have technically three wires. We have a, a, a hot, a neutral, and a ground. And now we have this red wire. Well, this red wire is also going to serve as a hot wire for one of those switches. So 
These two are going to go to the one to the top of each switch, which is going to control the lights and the fan. But what we need to do now is this is our hot wire coming in. So I need this hot wire to connect to this hot wire that goes to the switch for the outside lights. Then I need two more hot wires. Now I've got it. This is a white wire that I put magic marker on to make it black, but I'll come back and put some tape. I just can't find the tape right now and I'm not going to stop. So same thing we did before. We're going to get a five gang Wagyu, right? The first line in is going to be our hot coming from the box, coming from the panel box. That's tight as a tick. Second line is going to be that going to the next switch up, the, uh, the switch for the outdoor lights. Push it all the way in, clamp it down. And then these two are going to be the jumpers, if you will. the jumpers that are going to my switches. And then we have one extra slot if we ever need to come back and do anything. So now same thing, I'm just gonna push these all the way back in that box as far as I can, get it tucked in back there so my switches aren't pushing on it. Be careful not to flip those Wagyu's open. There you go. It's tucked in tight as a tick. So now we'll loop all these and then hook up our switches. Okay, there you see the final result, right? So this will be our switch for the fan with the red, and this will be our switch for our lights with the black. So, like I said, we got power coming in off of our Wagyu. We jumpered it off. Hot coming here, hot coming here, hot going up there. So all three of our switches are hot. And then because this is a, a, a three, three one wire, so it's a 14 gauge, lost some light there, sorry. So we use that 14 gauge, which is way easier to work with, that interior stuff. <laughs> if I'd have known that, I probably would have paid extra for the interior stuff instead of that uh, underground water rated stuff because golly, it just peels right off. It's easy to bend, fits right into the switches. It's great stuff. So let me get this buttoned up and then I'll see what else we got left. Well, there you go. Uh, I do have one more switch to do. I have to do the other end of that three-way switch, um, but I have to do some other stuff uh, to the roof and the rafters first before I do that. So that wire's not run all the way over there yet. So, but it's gonna be the exact same as the last one we just did, that last three-way switch. Uh, with the 14-3 wire that we ran uh, into that switch. So you're not really missing anything there. Uh, and then I do have one switch I have to put underneath the cabin. Uh, I'll do another separate video about that though because I gotta splice that into the outlets that are gonna be in the bedroom, um, install a switch that I'm gonna run to some lights underneath there. So there you go, that's it. I mean, pretty straightforward, kind of tedious, I see now. All respect for electricians. Like I said, I'm not an electrician. I understand why they get paid as much as they get paid now um, because it's tedious. Uh, sometimes it's mind bending trying to figure out, all right, how does this go to here and how that go to there? Uh, and again, of course, we don't have any electricity. We have no power yet. So I don't know if any of it's gonna work or burn up or arc or any of it, but um, I feel pretty good about where we are. Otherwise I would just redo whatever it is that I didn't feel good about. So uh, yeah. Switch is done, like I said. I got those ones left, but we're calling it done. Um, so, thanks for coming, thanks for checking us out. Again, if, if you see places where I made mistakes, where we made mistakes, throw them down in the comments and let me know. It's not gonna hurt my feelings, that's the only way I learn. I look in the book, I watch YouTube videos, I read, I try to figure out the best way, um, and then we go from there. So, let me know what you think. So. Now, thanks for coming, thanks for checking us out. Of course, if you love this series, you like it, even if you just like it a little bit, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you know when we post new content. And uh, again, look for the way and the light and the truth and you'll find it. He's there, he's right beside you, whether you want him to be or not, uh, he's with you. So uh, keep that in mind. Look up this way. We're gonna post a video up here. It'll probably be something related to this. We're gonna keep on rolling with this electrical stuff. We still gotta finish that panel. Uh, and do some other stuff. So thanks for coming. Thanks for checking us out. Until next time, be safe and God bless.